What was uh, North Philly like during the JBM era in the, in the late 80s, early 90s? Tell me about it. I mean, Philly was like... I mean, as much as people say it was a war zone, it was prosperity, man, because people was doing good, man. Like, it was like, for all of the, the, the despair and the drama and the violence and all of that, people was eating out here, man. So it was it was like kind of love, man, and it was just like a, a spirit that was here, man. It was just like an energy, man, and it was just growing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Philly, I mean, Philly always been on the map, but, you know, for me growing up, that you know, watching that stuff, you know, it, 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 it was inspiring, man. It was right. inspiring. Did, 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 did some of the things you saw, did it lead to you painting pictures on wax, some of the rhymes that you wrote, you know what I mean, coming up in that environment? Yeah, because it's like the stuff people say, talk about now, or the stuff as much as they say is wild, or the violence and, and, and the money, and I'm like, y'all ain't seen nothing. <laughs> like that thing was like the wild wild west man it was like the okay corral oh, the way like, it is it, now it this had real. this had nothing this ain't got nothing this on 89 got nothing. you know what i'm saying this ain't got nothing it's just like you know you think you've seen people getting money until you've seen dudes coming in the house with five trash bags full of money <laughs> you know what i'm <laughs> right. saying it's like that's a different type of money man right like you know if you if you can you know my boy told me he said man if you could if you could sit there with your hands and count your money you ain't got none <laughs> you know okay, what I mean? No doubt. And that's, that was just real, man. I just, the stuff you used to see, man, it was just like... Mm -hmm. Did you encounter any of the JBM when you was doing your 11 years of state? Yeah, me and Mooch was actually locked up for a while. I mean, me and Mooch, that's one, like, I ran across a lot of them. You, know, you, you run across a lot of them, and, they, you know, I just used to, you know, talk to them about things. Like, see, the thing is about me is, like, when I talk to people or that was gangsters or this or this, it's, it's not on an idolization level. Uh -huh. Because they'll tell you themselves, like, I didn't do nothing for you to be, I, you know what I'm saying? Right. I was, you know, I made mistakes and, you know, this is what got me here. I'm here for the rest of my life. So this, this, you going back out here, this is what you need to do, young boy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, and those, those are the conversations I used to have with them. And these are the conversations I have with young dudes when I come home. Like, look, don't look at me because you're like, oh, man, Spade put it work. He did that. No, 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 no. Listen, this is what I'm telling you. If you do those things, if this is the way you choose to live your life, this is what them people want right. to do. You go on a penitentiary. Now, can you, is you ready to stay in that? And if you're ready to stay in that, then go ahead. But I'm going to give you everything. I'm not just going to give you the glory stories. I'm going to give you the whole thing. All of it. No you doubt. You know what I'm saying? Because there was no guarantee I, had, I was going to come out the other side. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, that's, not a, uh, that's not an automatic round trip. You know what I mean? No doubt. No so doubt. it's like, you know.